Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, we're going to use nested loops to create a program to draw a rectangle for us made out of a certain symbol that we choose. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, welcome back. So nested loops. A nested loop is a loop that's inside of another loop. There is an outer loop and an inner loop, and both of these combined are nested loops. So the uses, they vary. They're used a lot in sorting algorithms. So I thought, let's create a program where we will draw a rectangle. We'll have the outer loop in charge of counting the rows and the inner loop in charge of counting the columns. And we will let the user choose a symbol that they would like to create their rectangle of. So we'll need to accept some user input. So console.writeLine, let's ask how many rows? How many rows? Actually, let's make this a right statement. Okay, and then we will store this within int rows equals, then we will need to convert some user input, convert to int 32, because user input's always a string. Then within the parentheses, console.read line. Okay, let's ask for columns. So let's copy this, paste it. How many columns, int columns, then let's ask the user for a symbol to use. What symbol or character? And let's use a string. I guess you can use a char as well. String symbol, and we do not need to convert this because it's already a string. Okay, we'll have an outer loop in charge of counting the rows, and the inner loop is in charge of counting the columns. So four, then we need our index. By the way, it doesn't matter if you use a while loop or a for loop. It's just the concept of having a loop inside of another loop. I just so happen to be using a for loop for the outer loop and a for loop for the inner loop. So int i equals zero. We will continue this as long as i is less than our rows, because we're letting the user choose how many rows. Then we will increment i by 1 during each iteration. Now we need an inner for loop, and let's just copy this. Now one naming convention with the index of the inner for loop, since i is already taken, what people usually use for an index for the inner loop is j, because j comes after i, I guess. So int j equals 0 j is less than columns, then j plus plus. Okay, now what we'll do within the inner for loop is display our symbol. So console.write, make sure you use write and not write line, we will display our symbol. So this inner loop is in charge of the columns, the outer loop is in charge of the rows. Basically, how this is going to work is that once we enter our outer for loop, we will immediately enter our inner for loop. In order to complete one iteration of the outer for loop, we have to finish all iterations of the inner for loop. And once we finish all iterations of the inner for loop, we can complete one iteration of the outer for loop. And during the next iteration, we have to do it all over again. So on the next iteration, we would have to complete all the iterations for the inner for loop. So this will display a rectangle made out of a certain symbol. However, there is one thing missing, and I'll show you. How many rows? Let's say four. How many columns? Five. And what symbol? Uh, what about the, I don't know, at sign? All right, so this ended up in one long row. So after we complete our iterations for the inner for loop, we should probably move down to the next row, kind of like a typewriter. We finish one line, then we move down to the next row. So let's use an empty right line statement just to move down to the next line. So if we try this again, okay, four rows, five columns, let's use an at sign. There we go, there's a rectangle. We have one, two, three, four, five columns, and one, two, three, four, four rows. So basically a nested loop is really just a loop that's inside of another loop. When you'll encounter it, it really varies, but they're used a lot in sorting algorithms. And this was a small program just to practice working with nested loops. All right, so if you want a copy of this code, I will post this to the comment section down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, drop a random comment down below, 
And that is an example of nested loops in C-sharp.